Welcome at Science Snack by Studium Generale. I'm standing next to physicist Professor Thomas Peitsman from Utrecht University and also working at CERN, a research center in Switzerland, working and studying one of the biggest mysteries in the universe, antimatter. So what is antimatter? Uh, so antimatter you could maybe describe best as being like kind of mirror particles of ordinary matter. For every uh, elementary particle that we know, there's also an antiparticle which has almost all the same properties than ordinary matter, but just opposite charge. And in fact, they can, if they meet, they will an annihilate with each other. Okay, so that sounds a little bit dangerous then. Well, in fact, antimatter is not around so much in so much um, abundant form. So it, it uh, does not happen by itself that matter and antimatter meet. And what makes antimatter one of the biggest mysteries in the universe? Big mystery is that, in principle, our universe was from the very start symmetric with respect to matter and antimatter. So there would have been equal amounts of matter and antimatter. All the physics laws appear to be symmetric, so antimatter and matter behave similarly. But at this very moment, we have a surplus of matter in the universe which allows us to exist because Otherwise, as I said, if there would be equal amounts of matter and antimatter, we would be gone, we would be annihilated together with uh, antimatter that would be around. So the origin of this asymmetry, this, this additional matter that is around, uh, is not solved. And what is a possible explanation? Uh, there are different theories that try to, try to explain that. It would rely, uh, rely on some asymmetry, some uh, unequality between matter and antimatter. So while we think that they are really share the same properties, it might be that, for example, antimatter decays more quickly than matter and because of that has disappeared from the universe. But that's just the, the, that these are the open questions that we want to answer. And what would happen? What would be the impact if you are able to answer this question? So maybe I have to disappoint people. They, uh, this antimatter will not have a technological consequences. We will not travel like in Star Trek at uh, um, speeds faster than light. But it will be one of the, as you said, one of the biggest puzzles of, of uh, physics that will be solved. It may actually also be that it will completely overthrow our current theory, and we have to really think completely fresh on how we build up uh, the theory of, of physics of the universe. Yeah, so it would change fundamentally how we look at the universe then? That could happen, yes. It could potentially happen, wow. So it's a really exciting time then and really exciting to uh, do research on this stuff. Absolutely.